I was a teen mom mm -hmm. all alone trying to figure it out. Jamie Lynn Spears has always been controversial in the media ever since her shocking teen pregnancy announcement. I, I went to, but they wouldn't leave me alone. They came and lived in Mississippi. Things only got worse for her when she stayed silent throughout her sister's conservatorship. The whole world came down and told me I was the worst human alive before. And now everyone thinks that Jamie Lynn is the real villain in her life, both to her own kid and her sister, Britney Spears. There has always been a mystery around Jamie Lynn since it seems like the person she pretends to be on TV and in interviews is different from who she really is. Of course, her sister Britney's conservatorship plays a huge part in the whole mystery as people have tried to figure out just what Jamie Lynn's role in all of it really was. And the most likely answer isn't very good. Time and time again, we've seen Jamie Lynn painted as the villain and that title doesn't come lightly. In February of last year, Jamie Lynn finally broke her silence surrounding the conservatorship by appearing on both Good Morning America and the Call Her Daddy podcast. But instead of speaking on Britney specifically, both in interviews were more about why she was also a victim and she was even promoting her new book that was released just a month before titled Things I Should Have Said. The timing of the book release was definitely interesting since it came out just months after Britney's conservatorship was terminated. While Jamie Lynn had made a subtle comment about not wanting to speak before Britney got the chance to, the fact that she broke her silence with a book was a little strange. In both interviews, Jamie Lynn said that she believes that she and her sister were both mistreated by their parents especially when it came to their father, Jamie Spears, and the problems he had with drinking. But even though this was supposed to be her big moment, where she laid everything out on the table and finally got to tell her side, Jamie Lynn still decided to stick by her parents. Since the controversy surrounding the conservatorship, Jamie Lynn and her parents had been referred to as the family against Britney. And for the most part, they all had the same things to say about the matter. So it might not be all that surprising that Jamie Lynn repeated what her father said. She told Good Morning America that it was up to Britney to leave the conservatorship. She even said that she supported her sister the whole time and gave Britney the contacts she needed to get out. And she made a point to say that if the conservatorship was so bad, then their family wouldn't want to go through with it in the first place. During the interview, Jamie Lynn also finally addressed why she had been silent for so long to begin with. And she claimed that her teen pregnancy, which happened around the same time, distracted her from knowing the real truth about her sister. By all accounts, it seems as though Jamie Lynn acted like she didn't know anything about it and couldn't do anything to help Britney, but doesn't even hold up since she also talked about giving Britney the contacts to be able to get out. So how could she have done that if she didn't know anything else about it? Things like this is definitely what adds to the whole scandal surrounding the family since it seems obvious that there was always another motive behind the conservatorship and it's believed by some people that Jamie Lynn was in on it the whole time. It's clear that she and her parents acted as a united front against Britney with the press and continued the narrative that Britney wasn't being controlled. But this narrative just doesn't add up since Jamie Lynn has also been claiming to be the victim of her parents as well. During a recent episode of I Am A Celebrity, Get Me Out Of Here, Jamie Lynn recalled what it was like to be a pregnant teenager and how her parents responded to it. She claimed that her parents wanted her to end the pregnancy so it wouldn't ruin her life, especially since she had a budding career. But Jamie Lynn decided to keep it and she claimed that she had to move to the middle of nowhere in Mississippi to get away from all the press surrounding her. It was at that moment that Jamie Lynn said that she had enough of her parents pushing her and telling her what to do. So she threatened to emancipate from them and it even got to the point where she met with a lawyer and was very serious about it. But she never ended up emancipating after all and continued to stay hidden from the world. When speaking about the emancipation, Jamie Lynn said that she believed her mother, Lynn Spears, didn't want her to do it because she was worried she would marry the father. And if she married the father of the baby, that could possibly mean that she would lose all of the money she had earned throughout her career. Based on this story, it seems like she believes that her parents put her away just like they did with Britney. And she even claimed that money was a factor in it. But when it comes to her sister's conservatorship, money
money is never brought up by Jamie Lynn or her parents. However, it's clear that Jamie Lynn has understood for a long time that money plays a significant factor in why her parents seemingly want to control her and her sister. So why wouldn't she claim that the conservatorship was also about money? The fact that she broke her silence by promoting a book says a lot about how she probably really saw the situation, which was just a way to continue to capitalize off of her sister's fame, all while attempting to make herself look like the good guy by painting herself as a victim too and claiming that there was nothing she could have done about it. But in all of this, it seems like this just isn't true. And it's more than likely that Jamie Lynn was benefiting from Britney's money just as much as the rest of the family was. The idea that the Spears family was using Britney as a money-making machine was only further with an interview with her older brother Brian Spears in 2020. While on the As Not Seen on TV podcast, Brian said that Britney's conservatorship was a great thing for their family and that everyone in the family was contributing their efforts to make sure that things continued to go well. But unlike the rest of the family who claimed that Britney wanted to be in the conservatorship from the start, Brian admitted that it was never something Britney actually wanted. From that, it seems like Jamie Lynn might have been in on it at all. And it would also make sense why she never spoke out against it or advocated for her sister while she was under the conservatorship. Even though Jamie Lynn claimed that she was too busy with her own pregnancy to know the truth, there's no way that she was oblivious to the situation for 13 years straight. So there isn't really any excuse for her silence. It's possible that Jamie Lynn just went off to try to be a mother on her own and stop caring about what was going on with her sister. And it seems like she was perfectly fine taking the money that she was getting from Britney and wanted it to continue for as long as possible. If she could potentially be so heartless and cold to her own sister who knows what kind of mother she is behind the scenes. With the generational trauma from her own mother, it's possible that Jamie Lynn might repeat the same mistakes with her own child, especially when you consider the fact that she raised her when she was just a teenager herself. Even with her narrative about being a victim too, it seems like Jamie Lynn is incredibly concerned with her own problems in life. And despite the fact that she attempts to make herself look like an amazing mother at any opportunity she gets, it's just hard to believe it sometimes. But at the end of the day, we don't really know what's going on behind the scenes, so she could actually be a good mom, even though some people think that she is not a good sister. But what do you guys think about all this? Do you think that Jamie Lynn might be a bad mom? And do you think she was just capitalizing off of Britney's fame with the launch of her book last year? I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this one, so let me know what you think in the comments below.